what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today welcome back i love to say welcome back yes i love to say it <laughs> anyways welcome back guys um once again to the channel man in full effect full metal alchemist i'm recording this on the fly but i am doing a long session today to get these episodes out to you um or ready for the week i should say so yeah so i'm gonna try to do as much as possible today so you guys can have two episodes every every day this week and then we'll see what we can get into next week okay because i will be recording this because i don't really have much that is prioritized right now on the channel because everything that i wanted to to record is already pre-recorded okay so for metal alchemist i can kind of concentrate on it this week or um and trying to get as much episodes done so i don't have to at least worry about it for a couple of weeks um but as i said um i did put out an update today as you can see i'm wearing the same damn shirt even though um even though sometimes you really can't tell because i do rotate like about five shirts at home <laughs> you know what i'm saying so um uh, so yeah i just want to to let you guys know that um so that's what i'm planning to do so we're gonna jump into these episodes um last episode man was um this show is really well done you know what i'm saying it's really well done and i don't know what's going to happen now that freaking edward is is trapped in gluttonous dimension dimensional belly if you want to call it that um he's trapped in there i don't know how he's gonna get out but it's obviously like some space where he where when he swallows or when he eats that's where it goes because i don't think he's eating for you know nourishment i don't think that's what it is i just think that that's his power and Any, anybody that gets swallowed up they get trapped in that dimension um you know it's like a separate dimension that when he eats that's where everything goes so when it comes down to the situation that's going on with mustang i'm curious to see how he's gonna play this if he's gonna get out of here you know what i'm saying because he was saying what he's saying as a joke but to him he, he was being serious but he wanted to see how they reacted to it and he ended up in a room with <laughs> with the fury <laughs> with wrath the man the legend you know what i'm saying but we'll see how things go as i said i still think that edward's father has a big part to play in this i don't know what it is uh my initial theory is that he's the one that created the homunculus but we'll we'll definitely see that's my initial theory i still have that theory going um because he he's doing something fishy if he's not he knows what's going on you get what i'm saying and he's probably going to show up to save his son i'm and i'm also wondering if that's why the elric brothers are so important to the homo the homunculus and they don't really want to hurt them or they want to save them as sacrifice or whatever the situation is i don't know what it's going to be but those are the theories that i have so what we're going to do now let's jump into these reactions if you guys have been watching the channel you know you know you know that memberships are available okay memberships are available first tier second tier third tier whatever one you choose um please consider subs um subscribing joining the membership on the channel help support the channel and stuff like that don't have to worry about doing patreon anymore unless you want manga readings early which is something that i'm going to be doing on a rapid pace in the very near future okay so that stuff is already being prepared it's just for me to release them now it's going to be um day early one day early access for manga readings on patreon um it's up to you guys it's up to you guys i just encouraged you to do it okay because i really would appreciate it all right um so let's jump into these reactions i will see you guys for the review all right two more episodes down episodes 25 and 26 getting closer and closer to the end not quite <laughs> but 
but anyways um these two episodes were really good man i like how the story is progressing we're finding more and more about these characters we got a back a backstory on how um the fuhrer king bradley became who he became because i noticed that when um when gluttony said father created us he created envy he created lust he created gluttony he never mentioned that he created wrath right so that simple means that he not they are actually artificial them three they're actually artificial you know um king bradley is more of like a human turned homunculus right so we come to that understanding of also finding out that you know ever since the country the, the 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 basically since the country has been initiated or started you know these you know this this guy has been in control this i'm guessing that this father dude or they've been in power this entire time and and it seems like the whole the head of the mil the military who's to know that all of them is not homunculized or turned homunculi you get what i'm saying or they just bought in or maybe they have been around this entire time maybe they've been changing names i mean nobody has really asked why king bradley has been he never ages and stuff like the dude looks the same you know and he ages a little bit it looks like he ages a little bit you know what i'm saying um and that's probably the reason why because he's not artificial entirely artificial he's like um he's like a hybrid so um so definitely man i'm loving the story um but i want to talk a little bit more about what ed had to do to um to get out of gluttony's belly um you know the concept of this anime the concept of this anime is really good it involves a lot of stuff that you may or may not believe in you get what i'm saying um it has an a, a spirit acts a spirit aspect to it that get discussed but not not so much that it's overwhelming but it is warranted it's a huge part of the story right um it's basically so in my opinion this is how i would describe it al is stuck in limbo he can't go nowhere he can't go to heaven he can't go to hell let's just put that into perspective right there right whether you know what i'm saying i don't know what your beliefs are or whatever but in the concept of the show i'm just letting you know right so from my understanding is basically what's happening with al is he is stuck in limbo because his body is stuck there but his soul is not there because his soul is still in the real world in the suit of armor right so his soul is still there but his body is still stuck the body uh, or the soul is like the mind so it's, it's like his mind is stuck out there but his body is still there so it's like half and half like part of him is is in the real world part of him is still stuck there and the only way for him to to leave he has to leave with his own soul he can't leave with ed's soul so i'm guessing ed is there but he can't take him with him at first i thought it was his mom because of how long the hair was but then i remembered that his mom wasn't blonde that's his dad so I still think it's the dad if you look at the image of they're not showing the face but if you look at the image the hair and stuff like that from the last time we saw his dad it's it's the dad it's the dad i don't know why they're still keeping this a secret because the 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 the, the, the um the animation the drawing is the same it's the dad he dissipated he disappeared years ago you know what i'm saying we don't know what he's been doing well this would explain what he's been doing you get what i'm saying and i've been saying it's the dad because well he has from what he came back and said that's when i started to suspect him when he just showed up out of the blue and was talking to winry's i think he winry's grandma 
um and telling her to get out of town i think he was warning her to tell her get out of here because we about to use this town to create another philosopher's stone you know what i'm saying but he didn't say that in so many words he was just warning her because i think he still cares about them in some ways i don't know why ed and al is so important as human sacrifices to to this situation i don't know why and that's still the part of the puzzle that I can't really put into perspective for myself. But Al is on the way to meet him. So I don't know if he's going to realize that it's his dad. Whatever happens in there is whatever is going to happen in there. I don't know what is going to happen. But at least now Mustang knows what's going on. I don't know why King Bradley is going to like spear him. I don't know why. Or he's just transferring him. But he's letting him go and basically having old girl be his assistant so he's like as long as i have her as my assistant she's basically you are going to know that she's always going to be in danger i could kill her at any time i want so you better behave you get what i'm saying he doesn't want to kill mustang because that would look too suspicious you get what i'm saying like a lot of people know mustang so i think that's the reason mainly why he doesn't really want to take him out because a lot of people knows that he went to central too so for him to just go there and just die you know what i'm saying like investigation would ensue you know what i'm saying he might be implicated in these accusations me you know what i'm saying don't get me wrong i think that scar is gonna find out a lot of things to him and this little girl they're gonna find out a lot and to see what's his significance in the story um going forward i think they're gonna find out the truth about this entire thing what sparked the war and all of this other stuff um you know what i mean uh and i think i th i think one of the things that i anticipate is to probably see him and edward team up at some point to fight against something i don't know i don't know what it is but i want to see the two of them fight against someone that's just the anticipated fight that i want to see um the story in this is incredible man they they never cease to amaze me you know of a comprehensive story now is it the greatest story i've ever watched in anime no it's not <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'll have my final verdict when once we finish you know what i'm saying i'll have my final verdict but right now it's a great story great story to watch and to follow I appreciate it. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, leave a like on the video and leave a comment. As always, man, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts. I will catch you guys later. Peace.